Welcome back, guys. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add text to your building drawing. Floor plan. Uh, this is a pretty simple process. Uh, the first step is to click on the text drop down. Click single line. Well, before that, you would need to change your text layer. But for examination purpose, you might not, that you don't necessarily need to add a layer for text per se for the exam purpose. But for regular drawing, you will need to add your text, your text layer. So first, you would go to your text layer, then go to text, the big A, click on the drop down, then click single. Here, you need to pay attention to your command bar. Next, you will click your start point or where you want the text to start. It is then asks you to specify the text height. In this case, I want a text height of 300 millimeters. So type 300, zero, zero, enter. Command bar will then ask you to specify the rotation angle. That should be zero. So zero, enter. Now you should see a flashing cursor. I click, ensure that cap lock is on. Then start typing. The first section is here is what bedroom. So here is bedroom. E E D R O O M. Here is the bathroom. Click here. D A T H for bath. And I think this is the next bedroom. D E D R O O M for bedroom. Then left click here. For the porch, P O R C H. Then I think here is the living, dining, and kitchen. So here is the living, L I V I N G. Dining, D e I N I N G. Kitchen, K I T T H E N. And I think. Oh, so here is the porch. Here is the porch. E O R C H. And this is a patio. So I'll click outside, then escape. Then click two times on this. Change that. Then backspace. E A T I O patio. Escape. So that is basically how we add our label to a floor plan. It's nothing much to it, all right? Remember, three important things that you need, you need to note. Uh, when adding your, your, your text, the simple method, you I normally use single line. So first thing, is to change your text or annotation layer. Next, click on the text drop down, click sing single. It is incredibly important that when you're in AutoCAD, you pay keen attention to the command bar. It gives instruction at the beginning, during, and after. Very important. It will then tell you to specify the start point. You will then need to click where you want the first letter to be formed, all right? Then it will ask you to specify the text height. 
I typically use 300 millimeters. 300 millimeters is two times the wall thickness. Yeah, so while doing building drawing, I typically use the wall as a reference to determine the size of my the size of um my text and um arrow size and things like those. Once you have entered the value for the text height, it will then ask you to specify the rotation angle. Zero rotation angle will give you a, a level text. If you enter an angle, it will draw the text at that particular angle. So it's important to be aware of that. Then type. Upon completing the text, you must click at a space outside, then escape in order to in order to reset the computer. All right, or to end the text, the text command. All right. So that's basically it for that. Again, thank you for watching, guys. Remember, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and leave a comment. That's important. Remember, you don't need to be good to start, but you must start to be good.